The poem that I'm about to read is by Thomas Hood, who lived from 1799 to 1845. It was first published in 1843 in the then new struggling periodical Punch. Within months of its publication, the poem inspired many paintings. It is called The Song of the Shirt. With fingers weary and worn, with eyelids heavy and red, a woman sat in unwomanly rags, plying her needle and thread. Stitch, 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 in poverty, hunger and dirt, and still, with a voice of dolorous pitch, she sang the song of the shirt. Work, 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 till the brain begins to swim. Work, 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 till the eyes are heavy and dim. Seam and gusset and band, band and gusset and seam, till over the buttons I fall asleep and sew them on in a dream. O oh, men with sisters dear, O oh, men with mothers and wives, it is not linen you're wearing out, but human creatures' lives. Stitch, 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 in poverty, hunger and dirt, sewing at once with a double thread, a shroud as well as a shirt. But why do I talk of death, that phantom of grisly bone? I hardly fear its terrible shape, it seems so like my own. It seems so like my own because of the fasts I keep. Oh, God, that bread should be so dear and flesh and blood so cheap. Work, 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 my labour never flags. And what are its wages? A bed of straw, a crust of bread and rags? That shattered roof, this naked floor, a table, a broken chair, and a wall so blank, my shadow I thank for sometimes falling there. Work, 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 from weary chime to chime, work, 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 as prisoners work for crime, band and gusset and seam, seam and gusset and band, till the heart is sick and the brain benumbed as well as the weary hand. Work, work, work in the dull December light and work, work, work when the weather is warm and bright while underneath the eaves the brooding swallows cling as if to show me their sunny backs and twit me with the spring. Oh, but to breathe the breath of the cowslip and primrose sweet with the sky above my head and the grass beneath my feet for only one short hour to feel as I used to feel before I knew the woes of want and the walk that costs a meal. Oh, but for one short hour, a respite, however brief, no blessed leisure for love or hope, but only time for grief. A little weeping would ease my heart, but in their briny bed my tears must stop, for every drop hinders needle and thread. With fingers weary and worn, with eyelids heavy and red, a woman sat in unwomanly rags, plying her needle and thread, stitch, 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 in poverty, hunger and dirt, and still, with a voice of dolorous pitch, would that its tone could reach the rich, she sang this song of the shirt.